Today I'm going to read Autumn's First Leaf. We've been talking a lot about leaves, so I thought this was a cute little story to read you. The author is Steve Metzger. He wrote the words. He's the author. The illustrator, Aaron Zenz, drew the pictures. It was late summer. Birds were singing, flowers were in full bloom, and the leaves on the trees were bright green. Three of those leaves, Paige, Phil, and Pointy, were the best friends who lived near the top of an old maple tree. On clear days, the sun's rays warmed them all over. On windy days, they flipped and flopped during the rousing games of leaf tag. And when it rained, they played bop the drop. You're a regular babe root, Pointy yelled as Paige smacked the raindrop out of the grove. As the summer drifted along, the days grew shorter and cooler. The leaves played catch the seed, watched the geese fly south, and laughed themselves silly when fuzzy caterpillars crawled over them. One morning, Pointy woke up and noticed something strange. Hey, what do you think of that? he exclaimed. Part of me is gold. That's pretty cool, Paige said as she bent over and, lo and looked at the tips of Pointy's leaves. How did you do that? I didn't do anything, Pointy answered. You look like the petal of a colorful flower, Phil said. That reminds me of a fun game. Let's play I Spy Colors. Okay, said Paige. I spy something brown. That's easy. Our tree's branches, Phil called out. I spy something gold pointy, yelled me. The three leaves laughed and laughed. A few days later, pointy woke up with a start. Now half of me is gold. What's happening? Phil asked. I'm not sure, pointy replied, but I looked pretty cool, don't I? He twisted and turned and admired his new color. Uh, what was happening to the leaves? They're changing colors. Phil turned to Paige. I guess Pointy thinks being green isn't that special, he whispered. Yeah, Paige answered. Maybe he would rather play with the gold leaves now. Well, Pointy has always been good friends with Phil. Let's give him another chance and see what happens. Throughout the morning and into the afternoon, they played, count the clouds, and giggled while watching squirrels chase one another. The squawking of a blue jay woke them up the next morning. Hey, Pointy, Squawky called out. That's a fine new color you're sporting today. I'm impressed. My goodness, Pointy exclaimed. Now I'm gold all over. Wake up, everyone, Squawky shouted. Look at the beautiful gold leaf in the middle of all this green. Pointy blushed while the bunnies, deer, and other forest animals looked up to admire him. Paige and Phil were not happy. Not happy at all. Once the forest animals moved on, Pointy asked, what should we play today? I don't know if we should play together, Paige said with a frown. Maybe you're just too cool to play with green leaves. Wait a minute, Pointy called out. I didn't ask to change color. It just happened. Phil and Paige looked at each other. After a few moments, they turned to face Pointy. We're sorry, Paige said. We know you didn't change on purpose. I guess we're jealous of all the attention you're getting. Do you still want to play with me? Pointy asked. After all, I'm gold now. We don't care. You're still the same leaf to us. Let's play twist and spin, Phil shouted. They played until the sun went down. The following week, there was another surprise. Look! Now I've changed color, Paige cried out. I'm gold, but my edges are orange. 
I've changed too, Phil added. I'm gold, but with a little bit of red. Now we're all the same color again, Paige said, with a smile. Not quite, Phil said, noticing the slight differences in each of their leaves. Right? A lot of the leaves that we found here are all so different, even if it's just a little bit different. It really doesn't matter what color we are, Pointy added, as long as we're friends. Paige and Phil couldn't have agreed more, and they happily played together all through the fall. He sure looks happy.